Hello guys, this is Paul Gallskorod from Laravel Daily Team and today we have a short demo of another package. I quite like, quite liked uh, shooting a quick demo, a quick review of a package last week, so I will do more of that. And today our topic is Laravel Impersonate, a package that allows you to log in as other user basically. Uh, it's usually used in systems like for example your administrator of the system or main admin of your company and you need to see how other users sees the data. For example, you log in as as that user without credentials and you see their dashboard, you maybe uh, replicate some bug or some situation or just test the system. Now, uh, caveat, be really careful with doing that. Impersonation means that you log in as that user taking over their account and that implies both potential security risks if you allow other users to do that. So triple check every code uh, and then there's privacy things, so be careful, you might violate privacy rule and you might not even be allowed to do that by well, legal terms. But that aside, how can you do that in technical terms in Laravel? So that package, Laravel Impersonate, pretty popular, it has 400 stars, which means, well, tested and used. Um, it allows you to do just this. You have you are logged in as one user and you impersonate other user. Uh, I've created a simple test project to show you how it works. So I've done already Composer Require. That thing is required only on Laravel 5.4 and lower. And I had to add this to my user model. So let's see my user model. All I had to do is use this and use this. Uh, and then I can actually impersonate. So let's go to my testing project in my testing project. With La it's a default Laravel with uh, just uh, make auth uh, and I log in as one admin user and I log in as Laravel daily admin Laravel daily, daily user Okay, and this is what I see. That's the list of users. Basically, I'm logged in as admin and I see the list of users uh, in a default home controller. Sorry for the background noise, guys. Some neighbor in the office doing some repairing stuff. So, uh, this is the index where I just list all the users except myself. Uh, and this is the table. Basically. Really simple thing. So, eloquent user except my own user and have user list with route impersonate. Route impersonate is this. So everything is behind auth middleware. Uh, it's just for impersonation and then leave the impersonation, which I will tell you about in a second. So impersonate, all it does is finds the user, makes the impersonation and redirect back. So this is how it works. I click impersonate. And now I'm logged in as Pavlos user, uh, actually the database thing. So this is how it looks on a database. I have the admin email and user email. So I'm logged in still as admin, but impersonated as user. And here there is a link back to my user. Uh, so we go to um, App Blade, I think it is. Uh, so this is the tricky part. So that package uh, still saves the data. What are you impersonated by uh, in the session? So if there is impersonated by variable in the session, then it means that you're logged in as impersonated user and you can go back. So the link back to my user would uh, lead to impersonate leave, which will just do this leave impersonation and get back to home. So we do that. We go back to my user. And that's it. I'm back as admin. I see only one user, which I'm, which is not myself. And then I can impersonate again. So this is a quick, short demo of how it works. But as I said, be extremely careful with that. So with this simple uh, project, I didn't check anything. So for example, I should check whether that user can impersonate. Uh, what's the role of that user? Usually it should be different uh, roles of users. So admin could not admin could impersonate a simple user but not vice versa and then there's more to that in that package so you can check out their documentation so this is the example of can impersonate as a 
as a policy or or function to to use within middleware. Uh, then there's more uh, more functionality, including middleware events, uh, more configuration, and even Blade things like can impersonate, uh, and also there's tests. So quick demo of Laravel impersonate package, and I will repeat once again that be careful with impersonation because if you allow to do that to your admins, uh, please be sure that no uh, other users can uh, by accident or uh, intentionally impersonate other users because it, it may have really, really big consequences. That's it. Uh, see you in the next video. So far, Daily Video Channel.